Mothers and health workers at Semin Health Center in Magala say children are suffering from preventable illnesses due to lack of hygiene as prices for soaps and detergents skyrocketed. We met Serha Halofom at Semin Health Center in Magala seeking medication for her three children who have been suffering from scabies, a contagious skin disease, and fungal illnesses. She says her children have been suffering for more than two months as they couldn't get medicine. I'm called Serha Halofom. It has been two months since my children developed the skin disease. Recently, they're caught by another skin disease where their skin is covered with spots of swells filled with pus. Now the nurse has prescribed medicines for them to be brought from private pharmacies, but I can't afford it. Sarha's sister-in-law also shared as Sarha and her children's condition for Sarha couldn't speak more as she got emotional in the middle of our interview with her. <laughs> The whole family of Sarha is suffering from scabies. She couldn't bring them to a health center early as she didn't have the money at hand. She took them to a holy water, but their condition didn't improve. It has been the same when we visited them every so often. So we borrowed some amount of money and encouraged her to come to this health center. But there is no medicine here. As you can see, the nurse is telling us to buy the medicine from private pharmacies. The money wouldn't be enough to buy the prescribed medicine as the prices are unaffordable. Helen Abraha is a nurse at Semen Hill Center working in the child care unit, particularly for children under five years. She says children are awfully getting sick and most of their illness are caused by lack of hygiene. <laughs> Children are frequently getting sick. Most of their illnesses are common cold and hygiene-related diseases such as diarrhea, skin diseases, and eye illness. Due to the siege, soaps and other detergents are hardly accessible as their prices have skyrocketed. These diseases were easily preventable before, but now we are unable to manage them. The case is worse on children from economically deprived families. Helen adds all medicine and the health center has been completely depleted and families are unable to afford to buy it from private pharmacies as the prices for medicines are unaffordable. There is no medicine that they can find it here. At least we should have oral rehydration salt, ORS, amoxicillin, and lubricants at health center level. But we have none. Our patients used to get them for a discount price here, but they have been depleted. When they are told to buy the medicine from private pharmacies, they can't afford it as it is very expensive. For example, the syrup that I prescribed to this child was sold for 50 bir here before, but now the private pharmacies are selling it for 450 bir. It's heartbreaking to examine a child's illness and not be able to provide them with the medicine. The prevention-based health policy integral has been collapsed over the past two years, as more than 80% health facilities have been either looted or vandalized by the joint Ethiopian and Eritrean forces, and entry of essential medical supplies has been prohibited following the siege that has lasted for a year and three months now.